Sorry it's gone for so long, but boy, do I have a video for you today. Around the end of the year last year, I built my brother this computer because he's in college and he spent more time playing games than anything else in his life. I'm not kidding. For the processor, he has an i5-4690. So a 3.5 GHz quad-core processor. It does turbo up to 3.9 GHz. So it's better than mine at stock, but I'm usually overclocked. I have a 4670K. For the motherboard, he has an MSI Z87 GD65. So it's one of MSI's fancy pants motherboards with killer ethernet and uh, dragons. Next we have an Intermax something, I forget the exact name, for the heatsink. I know he doesn't need an aftermarket cooler because there's no overclocking on this processor, but it does keep uh, the build nice and quiet and cool under load. He has 8GB of 1600 megahertz Patriot Viper RAM. If you, in case you didn't know already, I love this RAM. He has a 1TB HGST 7200 RPM hard drive, but I'm trying to get him to invest in an SSD pretty soon. The graphics card is old but still kicking. The MSI GTX 660 with 2GB of GDDR5 memory. This isn't the best deal anymore and surely is not the best thanks to slide spread, but I think I got it around $150 on promo and remail and rebates and it works just fine. For the power supply we have an EVGA 750 watt 80 plus bronze efficiency power supply. I remember it was on promo so yeah that's why it's a little crazy for this build. Oh but semi-modular. For the case this has been in my family since 2013 and I decided to gift it to my older brother and hand me up if you will. It is an Antec 900. We ran games in two resolutions. 1080p and 1024 by 768 for a reason. Because my brother uses a TV that scales that resolution the best, so that's what he plays at, so it'll matter what that runs at as well, 1080p, what most people run at. We ran Tomb Raider 2013, Shadow of Mordor, Bioshock Infinite, and a bit of other games without graphs, like Left 4 Dead 2, um, Witcher 3, uh, State of Decay, and Skyrim, and one thing I chose, Minecraft. And Fallout New Vegas. First we ran Tomb Raider 2013's benchmark, and I was actually a bit blown away how a three-year-old, not flagship card, mind you, did on this game. The standard 1080p we saw an astonishing 59 frame average on ultra settings. While at my brother's resolution, 1024 by 768 we were able to turn on Trez effects and still get 55 FPS average. At 1080p on Shadow of Mordor, on high settings we saw an average of 52.5 FPS, a minimum of 37.5. Maxing out at a little over 70 FPS. Now on 720, which is the closest resolution I could find in the options, I could I was able to do very high with a minimum of 45 and a half and the average of 72 FPS, which is a bit crazy. Left 4 Dead 2 max settings, 1080p, stays between 59 to 61 FPS, even with tons of fire rendering and explosions. With 1080p running max, you you know the story of 1024 by 768 and that's going to run just as fine, if not better. Same story with Payday 2, one of my brother's favorite games right now. 1080p max settings, 65 to 80 FPS in most scenarios. And the benchmarks will be cut short for two reasons. The main one being that some of the games weren't installed yet, the internet's having some connection problems at the moment, and two, because so far, even a crazy game like Shadow Mordor on that computer uh, that my computer struggles to play at max settings without overclocking my GPU ran quite well. So I'm sure that any s smaller or older game he likes to play will do 100% just fine at 1080p, and if not, it will run higher FPS at his lower resolution. Thank you for watching, and leave a comment explaining your thoughts, and leave this video a rating, and subscribe if you would like to see more.